lot older than me. Here's the thing. I wasn't always 30-something. It wasn't that long ago. I was these teenagers' age. As a matter of fact, the spiky hair dude can attest to it. He taught me. And so did his curly-headed wife. Okay? So they know there was a time I was a lot like y'all. Except I was pretty mean and a firecracker. And I had to wrestle. And I thought I was a boy, basically. <laughs> but um, if anybody knows the pressure of trying to live up to your parents' expectations, I've been a pastor for a baby. Okay? And I've got this sweet, sweet little woman for a mom. And when I grew up, I put this on Facebook a while back, but when I grew up, I, I didn't have a whole lot of respect for her as a person. I loved her, but I thought she was weak. I would see her get stepped on because of this ministry. And I was like, why don't you just slap them in the face? I, I, just, I was a firecracker. And I had no respect for how she would do that. And so we didn't get along because we were complete opposites. And now that I'm an adult, I know it takes a stronger person to be able to look them in the eye and just say, got pretty teeth, like Daddy says, and smile at them and not let them get you down and not let them ruin the ministry than it does somebody like me that would have been the one to slap them. Yeah. Strong woman. I have nothing but respect for her now. Amen. But at some point, that gap had to be bridged yeah. for me to understand that. And it took a mom willing to do whatever it took to reach her stubborn daughter and not give up Amen. and not just write me off as ruined. Amen. So that's a great mom. Amen. And on the opposite side, I've got my dad here. And I love him deeply. But we're so much alike Amen. that we couldn't see eye to eye. All I had to do was go, ah, and go, shh, not nah, going here. I know what you're going to say because I said it. And I never could get nothing out of my mouth. And it was infuriating. But finally, a gap had to be bridged for him to let me have a microphone and not go, shh, I'm here. Okay. So, we know about bridging gaps and the importance of it. And through the hard work and dedication of these two as my parents, I'm able to stand here today and know that, yes, I've made a couple of mistakes and I've been through a lot, but they've kept me on the right path. They've showed me who I can go to when they even fail me. And because of them, I'm able to be here for y'all. Right. So it's important to bridge those gaps. And if anybody knows how hard it is, stay right here. Because out of both my two sisters, I love them, but I was the rebel. Yeah. I, I, I was their work cut out for them, okay? So that's out there. But um, I just want to go ahead and uh, reiterate what's coming up this week, tomorrow night. Grace Baptist Church and Solid Rock Baptist Church, our teenagers and preteens have been preparing several dramas for you. And, uh, uh, Carly. No, you're about to preach. <laughs> several dramas, several dances, and several songs for y'all. And um, they're going to start performing those tomorrow night. And they will perform them again, different ones, because we've got a total of eight all together um, again on Friday. So please come and support your youth because this is their takeover. They're taking over the entire service and they're going to be basically the preachers. They may not be speaking, but they're doing the, a ministry in a completely different way because those plays are sermons in themselves. So y'all please come and, and support that. And we also will have some sermonettes both those nights. And finally, Friday and Saturday, we're having a band. It's just the band seven. I've had an opportunity to meet them. Really, really, really nice guys. They're coming out here for what I thought was a love offering, but we have a surprise with that I'll tell you about later. But really, really, really great guys. And I've, I've heard a couple of their videos online, and I think y'all are going to be in for a, a great treat. So please fill the house up for them. I'd love to see the house full. So now, I've